Hello my dear kids welcome to Zenit tutorials today we are going to learn the relationship between hcf and lcm you can draw this relationship with the help of a small formula also the product of two numbers are equal to the product of hcf and lcm of those numbers here you can see n1 and n2 these are the two numbers if we multiply these number the answer will be equal to the multiplication of hcf and lcm let's see an example 25 and 80 here we will do with the help of prime factorization 25 is divisible by the 5 so 5 5s are 25 again this 5 is divisible by 5 Five ones are five. Here for eighty, it is an even number, so I can divide it with the two. So two fours are eighty, forty. Again two twenties are forty. Again two tens are twenty. Again we can do with two two fives are ten. Five is a prime number, so it can divide with the prime number five itself. So The first we will write the factors of these numbers. So for eighty is equal to two into two into two into two into five. For twenty five the factors are five into five. Children, what is HCF? HCF is the highest common factor. Here you can see the common factor is five only, and it is the highest common factor. So HCF of twenty five and eighty is five. Now let's draw the LCM. We can draw the LCM with these factors also. Here you can say what are the common factors? Common factors are five only. So how we draw LCM? First we need to write the common factor only once. And you have to multiply rest of the uncommon factors. So, what are the uncommon factors? Two into two into two into two and into five again. This is the five which is uncommon. So, four hundred. So, the HCF of these number is five and the LCM is four hundred. Now, let's see how the formula is proved. First, multiply these numbers. N one multiply by N two. It means twenty five multiply by eighty is is equal to two thousand. Now let's multiply HCF and LCM also. So HCF is five and the LCM is four hundred, which is also equal to two thousand. So hence we proved. That the product of these two numbers are equal to the product of HCF and LCM. Let's do some word problems on this topic. So here are two problems. Let's do one by one. First question is the HCF and LCM of two numbers is fifteen and four fifty respectively. If one number is seventy five, what is the other number? Here the given statement is the HCF is fifteen. And the LCM of the product of the number is four hundred fifty. They said one number is seventy five. We have to find the other number. So the formula is n one multiply by n two is equal to HCF multiply by LCM. Here whatever given is we write in the formula. So n one is seventy five. The other number is not given, so I will write into. Now the HCF is fifteen multiplied by LCM is four hundred fifty. So I will keep N two over here, and I will move this seventy five to this place. So fifteen multiplied by four fifty divided by seventy five. So an another number is we solve this problem. Our another number will be. 90 so by using this formula we can calculate any one unknown quantity if we know any three of rest of the quantities let's move to our second example here the hcf of two numbers is 12 and their product is 4320 what is their lcm now let's solve it so what is the given in the question hcf is 12 
and the product of the two numbers n1 and n2 is given that is 4320. So now we will write the formula n1 into n2 is equal to HCF into LCM. Here you can say we have to find what is their LCM. So it means we need to find this unknown element. We know all these three known elements. So the product of these two numbers are 4320 is equal to HCF is 12 into LCM. Here we can keep the LCM over here and we will move this 12 to here. So 4320 divided by 12 is equal to LCM. So our LCM will be 360. So with the help of this formula, if you memorize this formula, we can easily solve the relationship between HCF and LCM. So my dear kids, today we learned the relationship between HCF and LCM. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe and like our channel and press the bell icon to receive all our notifications. Thank you for watching.